Wednesday, they had the chance to go top with a morning game against Sheffield Wednesday. An early kickoff because of the big horse race, the Grand National. And Liverpool set the stage with another thoroughbred performance. The champions quickly into their stride, Staunton feeding Steve McMahon, who sets his sights from 25 yards and drills the opener after only eight minutes. That signalled the start of an onslaught in front of another Anfield sellout. McMahon, Beardsley and John Barnes all back to their best. Liverpool back in the groove. Still fallible at times, though. John Aldridge missing on that occasion. Liverpool's first half pressure was relentless. Barnes' corner, Gillespie's head met it. Chris Turner punching the ball out from beneath the bar. A second for Liverpool was inevitable, though. When it came, it was conjured by Barnes, who first wins the ball and then sets off powerfully for goal. But wait for the magic. How about that? Abracadabra, Wednesday at sixes and sevens, and Peter Beardsley capitalises on their problems. Into the second half, and Liverpool flowing with some style now, their third typical of the sort of football they've been playing. Houghton feeding Beardsley. Available again. And he produces a stunning finish. So 3-0, and Wednesday at times, little more than spectators themselves now, McMahon, the engine in midfield, involved time and again here, and the champions knowing that they'll be top at the end of this one, albeit only temporarily. Liverpool very much the form team, though, and Beardsley punishing Wednesday here with the fourth. Wednesday, in keeping with Ron Atkinson's philosophy, still prepared to play football, though, and they get their reward by way of a consolation from young Dean Barrick. Turner pumping the ball downfield, Liverpool hesitant, and that's a goal that Barrick will remember for some time. Encouraged by that, there was very nearly more of the same to come. Liverpool pressing, but losing possession, and then an uncharacteristic error in the right-back position by Steve Nicholl, allowing Barrick to run on, but this time the shot strikes Grobelaar's left hand upright. Almost arrogantly, Liverpool shrugged that off and continued to pepper the Wednesday goal. Aldridge away again, but Turner making a very good save. Turner, in fact, emerged with his reputation intact despite the final scoreline. He made some good saves. Two coming up here in quick succession from Steve McMahon, who went to an awful lot of trouble to try and add to the total. It was left, perhaps fittingly, to John Barnes to do that. Liverpool again opening Wednesday up. Houghton feeding Barnes, and that 5-1. An ominous warning from Anfield, Liverpool getting better and better on the home straight, and they know it.